So yesterday this happened, a railway blockade in northern Alberta. That's illegal, that's dangerous, and the RCMP literally just stood there. So some real men in Alberta decided to do something about it. Take a look. Hard working, oil patch workers cleaning up the mess. That's right. Oh, it's incendiary on my country. Train tracks. Sorry. Those guys are amazing. No violence, no crime. It's sort of the opposite. They were clearing off a dangerous illegal blockade from a railway line. The RCMP weren't, obviously the media weren't. It was peaceful, it was amazing, and the cowardly protesters, they knew better than to fight these beef-eating Alberta boys and Alberta girls. We're not worried about this, we're worried about actually having a world that's livable. It's livable. You get to decide for them? No, you, don't, you know who gets to decide? The scientific community. Then you should the take your masks off so everybody can see Absolutely. who you are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Why are you here? If then? you're not ashamed, yeah. take if them you're off. you're not ashamed, yeah. remove your mask. I'm so, not ashamed. The reason why we mask up is because there's a lot of people on Twitter right now threatening a great deal of violence against us. Huh. Those two moms had more balls than the eunuch RCMP Trudeau cops standing there. I'm sorry to say it. Sorry to say it. I grew up admiring the police. It's a little bit tough to admire the police when a couple of moms have more balls than the RCMP. I'm sorry. It was amazing. No need to hire a lawyer to run to the court for an injunction that would just be ignored, neutered cops. Just bring in some oil patch guys in a truck, give them some work gloves, and have a couple moms to scold the masked cowards. Apparently the hero in one of these vids uh, who was clearing the junk, his name's Guy Simpson. That was the only name I saw. Um, if anyone knows how to contact Guy Simpson, let me know. Here's a tweet I put out yesterday saying, I want to send the guy a case of beer and the nation's thanks. So if you know Guy Simpson, um, have him email me, Ezra at rebelnews.com. We'll send him some beer. And I want all the Guy Simpsons of the world to know that if they are arrested by Trudeau's police, this is another tweet I put out yesterday. Free lawyer, any nonviolent Canadian who does what Trudeau's cowardly police won't do and dismantles these illegal blockades on roads and railways will receive a free lawyer paid for by Rebel News if police arrest you for taking out the trash. We will provide a civil liberties lawyer for them free of charge. That's a promise. And look at the front page of the National Post today. Look at that. Guy Simpson and his buddies, heroes. And look at that. Do you see that quote there? Peter McKay, you see right, right above the picture, there's a quote from Peter McKay. He tweeted in support of these peaceful problem solvers. Here's his tweet. He said, not really that dramatic, pretty obvious. I mean, it's pretty obvious, a couple of Albertans. He said, glad to see a couple Albertans with a pickup truck can do more for our economy in an afternoon than Justin Trudeau could in four years. And then, and then, I kid you not, Peter McKay deleted that because Andrew Coyne, the <laughs> Toronto Red Tory, he just said, seriously? Did you just, did you just, are you serious? And he called it vigilantism. Those Alberta boys, vigilantes. And there was a few seconds of Twitter embarrassment for Peter McKay, so he actually deleted that tweet. National Post still put it on the front page. I used to be chums with Andrew Coyne back in the day. He's not much of an outdoorsy type. He's not really a work gloves kind of guy. His hands are as soft as a newborn baby's bottom. He doesn't have much time for men who do physical things like clear debris off railroad track. So he calls them vigilantes. Yeah, no, no. Vigilantes would have thrown those masked thugs in the back of their truck, uh, driven them out of sight of the media, and um, given them a bit of a tune-up. Uh, those Alberta boys were not violent. They weren't even verbally mean. 
they just cleaned up a blockade. That is not vigilantism. That's a highway cleanup crew. That's heroes. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.